yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial for you. Hope you're doing great today because I'm feeling fabulous. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this really lovely pineapple lace scarf. And I've seen a lot where it's a single row of pineapples and I was delighted to find this one where it is two pineapples on either side and it's actually, it works up very, very quickly. Started this just yesterday, finished it today. Absolutely love it. You know, it, it's very quick, it's very easy. And in case you couldn't tell, yes, this is Karen Cakes. This is my go-to for a lot of projects. <clears throat> and uh, no, I am not sponsored. Um, but I do love this yarn and I love the color changes. This is Red Velvet by Karen Cakes. And uh, I found the pattern on Pinterest. It was in a schematic, which I then had to translate into, you know, <laughs> terms that could be understood. Uh, please do not ask me for a written pattern. Um, and uh, it was it was a lot of work, but I found it was totally worth it, and the repeat really isn't that bad once you get used to it. And so what I'm going to do is actually, I think I'm going to break this video up into a couple of parts to compartmentalize it and make it a bit easier to understand for you. Okay, so what I'm going to use today is a worsted weight yarn and a size I crochet hook. Now for the Karen Cakes, if you want to do this scarf, using the Karen Cakes, which I, I, you know, I love it, you know me. Um, you can do an entire scarf with just one skein, and this is all I had left out of the one skein. And it has a really good length um, to the scarf. Also, I love the width because since it is very, very lacy, uh, you can still bunch it and it'll keep you nice and toasty. Or for something really elegant. You can drape it. Love it. All right, so grab your hook, grab your yarn, and let's get started. Okie dokie pokey. So I have my eye crochet hook, and I got my worsted weight yarn, and we are going to get started with row one. All right, so I'm going to start with a slip knot. It's like saying, yes, we're going to start with the letter A in the alphabet, but <laughs> so many of these projects do start this way. And so we're going to start with a chaining of four. Okay. And then going to immediately do a double crochet into that first chain. Okay and then chain two, and then do two double crochets into that first chain. And then chain two, and then do two more doubles into that chain. Now, you could use the magic loop method, but if you've been watching my videos for any period of time, you know that this is one of my preferred methods. All right, and then we chain two again, and then do two more doubles into that stitch once again. Or you could always do a chain four slip stitch, and then do a chaining up of three. That's another way that you could do it. I just find that this is, you know, a really easy way of doing it. So for the end of round, well, row one, uh, we have four clusters of two double crochets separated by chain two spaces. All right, so that is the end of row one. Onwards to row two. All right, so for row number two, going to start with a chain of four. Turn the work. And 
and into this first chain two space, we're going to do what I'm going to refer to as a cluster, which is two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And we're going to be doing a lot of these. Believe you me. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to chain five. And into this center space, we're going to do another cluster. So that's two double crochets. chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, and then because we need symmetry, we are going to chain five again, And then into this chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. So that's two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. Okay, oops. Alrighty, and then what we need to do is to end row two, we need to do a treble crochet into the third chain on this last stitch. So that's going to be yarning over twice, and then into this top stitch here, right there. We're going to do our treble. Okay. So we have some nice symmetry going on already. All right. And that is the end of row two. All right. For row three. I'm going to start with a chaining up of four. Turn the work, and again into this chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, and then we do three chains. All right, now into this five chain space, we're going to do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. And what you could do is you could go into the chain stitch. Personally, I find that's more tedious than it's worth, and this looks just fine. So I'm just going to go into the space with a double crochet chain three, and double crochet. Like so. And then chain three. And we're going to do another cluster into this middle space here of two double crochets. chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, then again for symmetry, chain three, and into the chain five space, 
it's going to be a double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet, okay? Now, yes, these can slide around a bit, but with the next row that we're going to be doing, it kind of stabilizes it, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. And then we chain three again, and into this chain two space, another cluster of two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay. And then, last but not least, we need to do another treble. And this time it's going to be into this space down in here. <clears throat> now, you could do it again. You could do it within the stitch. I'm just going to do it within the space. Like so. All right. And that is the end of row three. Onwards and upwards to row four. All right, so we're going to start by chaining a four. Turn the work. Yes, you guessed it, another cluster in that chain two space with two double crochets. chain two, and two double crochets. And then we chain three. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, like I said, sort of stabilize this V going on right here. So we chain three over here. And now we're going to do a double crochet into this double crochet. Like so. And then in this chain three space, we're going to do five double crochets. Okay, and then do another double crochet into the top of this double crochet. All right, so we've got a pretty little fan going on there, and this is actually going to be the foundation of our pineapple, okay? And of course, I have a knot, naturally. Okay, be right back. All right, sorry about that. All right, so we just did our double crochet, five double crochets, double crochet. Then we continue right along by chaining of three. And we're gonna do a double, sorry, a uh, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets into this center space. We're gonna be doing a lot of these. So we're going to do a cluster right into here. Chain two. And two double crochets. Chain three. And again, on this side, I'm going to do a double into the top of this double crochet. Then five double crochets into this chain three space. And then a double crochet into the top of this double crochet.
chain 3, and then into this chain 2 space we're going to do another cluster. And then, last but not least, we're going to do another treble crochet into this end space here. Okay. And that's the end of row four. Okay, row five. So, we're going to start with a chaining of four, turn the work, and we're going to do a cluster into that first chain two space, and through the majority of this project, yes, this is what we're going to be doing with some very slight variation. So it's the two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, and then chain three. Okay, so now our fan needs to expand. So we're going to do a double crochet into our first double crochet, and then chain one double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, and so on and so forth for the rest of the fan. So it's just double crochet in each of the double crochets with a chain one space in between. And then one more. There we go. Like so. <clears throat> okay. And then we are going to chain three and do another cluster into the center. I guess you could call it sort of the, the spine of the scarf. So it's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And then we're going to chain three. And again, in each of these double crochets, it's a double crochet, and then chain one, double crochet, chain one, all the way across. And just a couple more to go. Chain three, and we're going to do a cluster into that chain two space. Okay, and for the end of row five, another treble into this space down in here. Okay. And you should have something that looks like this. Mm-hmm. Isn't it pretty? All right, so we shall continue. All right. 
got row six going on here. So for row six, we start with a chaining of four. Turn the work. Okay, so into this first space here, we're going to do something a little bit different, and it's going to be a double crochet, then chain one, and then we're going to do a cluster. So that's two double crochets. chain two and two double crochets. Okay, so you should have this in your first cluster space. A double crochet, chain one, and then your typical cluster. Okay? So now we're going to chain three. And this is where we're going to start what I like to call the web work of the pineapple. So into this chain one space, we're going to do a single crochet, then chain three. Into the next chain one space, do a single crochet, chain three, and this is what we're going to be doing all the way across. It's a chain three, single crochet into the chain one space. And this will be <clears throat> the base of our web work. And so you should have five little arches in a pretty little row. Okay. All righty. And then, let me see here. Going to chain three, now into this space here for the spine, this is going to change as well. So it's going to be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. chain two, and then two double crochets. Okay. And that's very similar, not exactly, but it is similar to our base that we had down there. Now, there's going to be, in the repetition, every time you have one of these offset ends and, well, when you have an offset end and the, the five loops, the center is going to grow because the, uh, the fan or the uh, pineapple, this is where it starts to shrink. So the center has to start to grow. And this will make more sense as we continue along. I'm just making it a, a point of note at the moment. All right, so we're going to chain three and then into that chain one space we do a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain one space, and so on and so forth. And right now for the first 12 rows 
it is a little bit tricky, but after that, I will be doing a full repeat for you so that you can refer to that no problem. All right, so I did all those, and now I do a chain three. Okay, so now we have to do the sort of mirror image of what we did on this side. So I chain three, and into this chain two space, we're going to be doing a cluster. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, <clears throat> okay, then chain one, and into that same space again, another double crochet. So it's the mirror image of what we did at the very beginning of the row. And then to finish it off, do a treble crochet into this space down in here. All right, and that's the end of row six. Onwards to row seven. Okay, so for row seven, start with a chaining of four. Turn the work. Now into this first chain one space, we're gonna do two double crochets. Okay. And then chain four. And then we're gonna do a cluster into the cluster space. So that's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, chain three, and now we're going to continue the web work by going into each of these chain three spaces. So we're going to do a single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and again with a single crochet, chain three, and one more, single crochet into that chain three space. <clears throat> okay, so then we're going to chain three again. And we need to create two clusters in here, and I'll show you what I mean. So it's going to be in this space, and in this space, we're gonna be doing some clusters. So into this space, it's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, okay, and then going across this middle space, we're going to chain two, yes, and then do another cluster into this next space here. Oops. Okay, so like I said, two clusters. Okay. 
So then we continue on by chaining three. Do a single crochet into this web work chain three space. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three, single crochet into that chain three space. Chain three, and single crochet into that chain three space. Okay. Chain three, and into the previous row cluster, we're going to do yet another cluster. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and then chain four because we need symmetry just like when we started. Okay. And then into this chain one space, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay. And then into this large space again, another treble. Ta -da! And that is the end of row seven. Okay, for row eight, I'm gonna do something a little bit different, but not to worry. I'm gonna do some slip stitches. All right, so we'll start with a chain one. Now on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch until we reach this first double on the cluster, that is. So just going to slip stitch our way across. And this is the only time in the project that we're going to have to do this. And I know it's tedious, but This is the only time in which we're going to have to do it. So for those of you that loathe slip stitching through somewhat tight stitches, as I'm very good at doing, <laughs> um, only have to do this once. So it's not that bad. You know, and I know it's frustrating slip stitching through a chain stitch, but it really does not work otherwise. So you really need to actually slip stitch through those chain stitches. You know, I did try it to make it easier, but now it's the only way I know of to actually make it work. Okay and then into this first double in the cluster. One more. Okay. All right, so then <clears throat> chain four. And then into that chain two space, we're gonna do another cluster. our typical two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Okay. Chain three. And then we're going to continue along with our web work. So it's a Single crochet into the chain three space. Three chains. Single crochet into that chain three space. Chain three. 
single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and single crochet into the chain three space. All right. And then we have to get to our cluster over here, so it's chain three. And we're going to do a cluster into that chain two space. And then chain three. And into this center chain two space, we're going to do another cluster because we have to continue to have a spine going through the center. Chain two. And two double crochets. Chain three. Do another cluster into this cluster space here. Chain two. And two more doubles. All right. And then we have to continue the web work on this side. So that's chain three single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and so forth. Okay. And then chain three again, and into this cluster space here, we're going to do a cluster. So it's two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And that is the end of row eight. Isn't that looking pretty? All right. Onwards to row nine. So for nine, we start by chaining up a four. Turn the work. And going to start with a cluster. Chain two. And two more double crochets. Okay. And then chain three. Continue on with the web work. So it's single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and single crochet into the chain three space. <clears throat> okay, chain three, and then we need to go to our next chain two space. Do another cluster of two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets. Pull out some more yarn. <clears throat> okay. Now We need to extend these 
chain 3 spaces into chain 5 spaces because again we need to grow out the center because these are shrinking, these pineapples. So we're going to chain 5 and do a cluster into the center cluster. Just your usual two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, like so. And then chain five again. Yep, okay. And then into this chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. chain three and continue the web work on this side so in the chain three space single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet and then chain three again And then into this chain two space of the previous cluster, we're going to do another cluster. And that is the end of row nine. Okay, onwards to row 10. And so we're going to start row 10 with a chaining of four. Turn the work. In the chain two space of the previous cluster, we're going to do another cluster. Okay, and then chain three, and continue along with the, the web work. So it's a single crochet in that chain three space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain three space, and then we have to go back to the clusters, so that's chain three. Do a cluster in the chain two space of the previous cluster. So that's two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. like so. Now, before I continue on, so we have our chain, chain five space here and here. Now, if you recall, down here, we had chain five spaces. This right here and this one right here. And we're going to be doing the exact same thing because these two pineapples are nearly finished, so we have to create new pineapples. And that is what we're going to be doing right up here. Where one door closes, another one opens. So we need to create the base of 
the new pineapples. So we're going to chain three. And in the chain five space, do a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet. Just like we did way down below. And then we chain three again. And do a cluster into the center spine cluster. Chain two, if my hook will behave. There we go. And then two more doubles. Okay, chain three again. Into the chain five space, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. chain three, do a cluster into the previous cluster chain two space, okay, chain three, and continue the web work on this side. <clears throat> so that's a single crochet in the chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the chain three space, chain three, and last but not least, do a cluster into the last cluster of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Ta -da! All right, and we shall press on. Okay, row 11. So we're going to start with a chaining of four, turn the work into the first chain two space. We're going to be doing, yes, yet another cluster, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Okay, and then chain three, and then into that center space, we're going to do a single crochet, and then chain three again, and then into the next chain two space of the cluster, do another cluster. And so our web work is done. I'll hold that out there for you so you can see. Okay. So this pineapple, oh so scrumptious, almost done. All right. So now we need to have these two bases sprout new pineapples, so to speak. So, chain three, finish that cluster there, so we're chaining of three. And then again, into this double crochet, into the top, do a double crochet. And then five double crochets into that space. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, 
and then do a double crochet into the top of this double crochet. There we are. Chain three. Do another cluster into the center spine cluster. Okay, chain three. Okay, so now we have to build up our other pineapple. So that's going to be a double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet. And then five double crochets into that center space there. Okay, like so. <clears throat> and then a double crochet into the top of this double crochet. Chain three. And into this chain two space, we're going to do another cluster. Chain two, two more double crochets. Okay, and then chain three. And we're gonna finish up the web work on this side. So into that chain three space at the top, do a single crochet, chain three again and then do a cluster into the chain two space of the last cluster. Oops. There we go. Okay, and that's it for row 11. Mm -hmm. Row 12. Okay, so now this is going to be the last row of this video. And because this, this is the tricky part, um, you know, doing these first 12 rows. Uh, rows 13 through 19 are going to be the actual repeat, and that's going to be on the next video. And that will be a breeze by comparison, believe you me. So for row 12, we're starting with a chaining of four. Turn the work. And going to do a cluster into the chain two space. Chain two, two more double crochets. Okay, now we're not going to be doing any chains in between. We're going directly from this cluster to creating a cluster on the other side. <coughs> so, going right in with two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets from one cluster to the next. Like so. And you want to make sure that the connection is relatively nice and snug, otherwise it'll look a little bit wonky. Okay, so got that done. Now we need to again have our base fan expand 
So chain three. And into each double crochet, we're going to do a double crochet, but they're going to be separated by chain one spaces. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, etc., etc., all the way across the fan. Just stitching into each stitch separated by a chain one space, just like we did previously. So it's nice and easy in that respect. Okay, and then chain three into the center spine cluster. We're going to do another cluster. So it's just your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, nothing new there. Okay. Chain three, and then again we have to expand the base of this pineapple, this fan. So into each double crochet, we're going to do a double crochet separated by a chain one space. Oops. There we go. There we are. Ta da! Alrighty, so <clears throat> then we do three chains, do a cluster within the chain two space, chain two, and two more doubles. And then because we need to bridge the gap, no more chains, just going directly from this cluster to the next cluster on the other side, just as we did before. Okay. And that, my dears, is the end of row 12. Okay. So as you can see, we've made considerable progress. Absolutely love it. Now, um, there is a slight variation that will come with row 13, which I will get into on the next video. Um, so I would strongly suggest not going based strictly on this video uh, because the next one it's going to have a full repeat so that you can refer to that in case if you uh, have difficulty along the way. And uh, so listen, I really hope that you like this tutorial because this is so much fun to do and you know I love doing this for you guys. So. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, what have you, just check out the you know comment section down below. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do so because I try to post as often as I can, uh, as a lot of you already know. Um, and if you like this video, please do hit the like button because your support means the world to me. It really makes a difference, and I do appreciate it. So listen, uh, you know, get started on this, my dears. And uh, I will have more to come in part two of this pineapple lace scarf. Okay, so stay tuned for more. And uh, stay inspired, 
stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.